in my backyard at home and this month has had like july i don't know if it's just me but july has been so long i feel like i've had so many amazing things happen i've had so many anxious confusing lost what what in my purse in my in the wake of a hurricane Dark skin of a summer shade Nose dive in the floodlines Tall tower milk crate It's the same way you showed me Basically, I feel like I've had a lot of a lot of ups and downs, a lot of mental blocks, a lot of times where I just am like, what is going on? And then like lots of highs and lows. The beginning of July, my friends came to Michigan. I had all of my <laughs> friends come. We went up North Michigan. We just did like pure little fun activities. Like we did like boating, we did some tubing, we had bonfires, we all had the matching like under the sun swimsuits, we went hiking on the dunes, grilled out, went tubing down the river, like that was also amazing. And then me, Ellie, and Aaron went to the Hamptons, and then I went and visited my friends Allie and Liza in Newport, and we all went there and just had so much fun. But within that whole time span, I was supposed to be in Europe right now with Ellie, but all of my friends could see that I kind of, you know, sometimes not be able to even formulate sentences, which has never happened to me. I've never gone so blank in my head or like, or so foggy. I was kind of describing it as like foggy where I just couldn't even like focus on anything. When I was texting people, like I couldn't even focus on what I was saying. And I'm, I knew I wasn't going to stay like that. I just think maybe my brain was so overwhelmed. Well, I do know that's what it was, but, um, basically what I kind of realized I needed to do was just pause, put a pause in travel and I just wanted to like come home to get my head straight before I just continue on with like life. <laughs> I think that was the biggest thing is just like slowing down and getting back to like the habits that I know work for me. It is okay to slow down. It is okay to just take in life and take some time to like reconnect with yourself and feel those emotions and ask yourself what's wrong or ask yourself what's bothering you and just all that good stuff. So, I've been home for like a week now, but I even deleted my social medias, which... Snapchat. Nope. Instagram. Nope. Bye. Ooh. Wait, that felt good. <sighs> okay. I haven't deleted like Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat off my phone. I've definitely taken breaks where I w like maybe I won't go on it for a day or two, but... I haven't actually deleted it off my phone in a minute. And so closing out social media, at least for me, was helpful. Let's just figure out what's going on in here before you start trying to like process everything else going on in the world. Another thing that's really helped me is in times where like, I feel like my mind is all scrambled. If you imagine yourself, kind of like take yourself out of your, out of your body and look at yourself and your problems and everything going on, from like a bird's eye view. I don't know why I just, that's helped me in the past few days is just like kind of taking myself out of my head and like just picturing what's going on from bird's eye view and just being like, okay, what can I do today? What's in my control? How can I just do my best today? I don't have to get everything done that I'm wanting to get done. I don't have to have the most productive day, but what's a realistic day or what can I do right now? 